Hi Dr. Shrikant, what is the difference between mammogram and sonomammogram? Could you please explain? Mammogram is the most common breast imaging which is uh, followed in day to day practice. It's used for both screening as well as follow up in most of the patients. So what is this mammogram? Mammogram is basically x-ray of the breast tissue where the breast is compressed between two plates and the x-ray film is taken. Why is mammogram commonly used? Because it gives consistent results and uh, most of the breast lesions which are clinically not palpable can be easily detected by using a mammogram in a very early stage. That's the advantage with mammogram. But it has few drawbacks like if the breast tissue is very small compressing the breast tissue among the mammogram plates is going to be difficult and in younger people where the breast is going to be very dense in such patients using mammogram and interpreting any kind of findings will be difficult and in some conditions where a patient is having any tenderous lump or any painful breast in such patients doing a mammogram is going to be difficult these are the drawbacks of mammogram and what is sonomammogram? Sonomammogram is a combination of both ultrasound and x-ray of the breast. So in cases where you can't do mammogram, in such cases only USG will be done. That is ultrasound of the breast. For example, as the cases discussed earlier, in younger patients, only ultrasound is most commonly recommended. And uh, in cases of small breast or if there is any painful breast, in such cases, ultrasound will be commonly done. When you use mammogram in combination with ultrasound, the efficacy will be improved. For example, if these two tests are done together on the same day, then the chances of detection of occult lesions is going to be superior than just doing a single mammogram. So basically how I generally recommend for patients is if the patient is very young having smaller breast and a denser breast in such patients I would generally ask them to undergo a ultrasound and in cases of elderly patients I would always recommend to undergo a sonomammogram even in younger patients if it is possible I would always recommend to undergo a bilateral sonomammogram that is the most preferred test than undergoing a just mammogram thank you